Busy Wednesday ahead of us weather-wise. We're kicking it off with scattered showers, some of which are heavy this morning. You'll see some of the reds popping up and headed off our area. Ionia, though, you're in for a heavy shower here shortly, especially along the I-96 corridor as well. Up to the north, starting to taper off a little bit, but areas of Alma, Crystal, again, seeing some of that heavier showers develop. It is warm out there as well, which is why it is all rain this morning. Low temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 40s, even low 50s down to the south. And we'll continue to get a little bit cooler into the afternoon. Part of the reason for that are those winds currently coming from the south and a wind advisory does remain in effect through four o'clock today. Your top wind gusts could be anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. We'll see those winds turn to the west as we head throughout our afternoon. And yes, these are sustained winds anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour possible. But I think the majority of the area will stay closer to that 20 to 25 range before we calm down into the overnight hours. Otherwise, temperatures fall into the afternoon. So technically your afternoon highs will likely be in those low 40s. Again, dealing with showers here this morning and breezy conditions continuing for much of our day. So once we kind of kick this rain out of here, we'll be left behind with cloudy skies and breezy conditions this afternoon, but really not a whole lot to talk about until we get into tomorrow morning. We'll see those winds shift pulling in cooler air, and that's when we'll start to see the chance for some light snow and as well as wintry mix developing in those later morning hours. It does continue for much of your afternoon and evening. I do suspect that evening commute will be a slick one. It's a little bit of a tough situation as far as snow totals because of the mixing that will take place. Again, the best chance for snow north of I-96 with a mix expected down to the south. Moderate to heavy snow is possible north of I-96. I'll show you kind of one of our latest model runs. Coming in in this darker blue could be pockets of five to six inches, but I do think widespread north of I-96 will be anywhere closer to about two to three, maybe even up to that four inch mark with a little bit more of rain and mixing down to the south. So 50 degrees, technically your high today, but will be cooler into the afternoon and a lot cooler into our Thursday with a high of 32. Keep an eye out for those flurries as well as that wintry mix into the afternoon and evening. Otherwise, a lot cooler into our Friday with a high near 28 into your weekend. Sunshine makes a return in overall mild conditions. Our next chance for snow comes towards the middle of next week. Tom, how's our morning commute shaping out? Well, we do have a crash out there right now, developing in the last uh, 10 minutes or so, and this along the southbound lanes of US 131 at 28th Street. The good news is it's off to the shoulder. It's right past that on-ramp uh, from 28th Street to southbound US 131, uh, and so far it does appear traffic able to get by there. Emergency first responders already on scene. Uh, we'll keep watching that for you and let you know if that does become problematic, but you can see from our map right now, causing a slight slowdown, but not a uh, stop and go situation as of yet. But again, I'll keep watching that for you. Expanding the view and taking a look at the rest of the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. I anticipate it being kind of a busy morning with crashes with that rain coming down for the time being. But right now, that's the only crash uh, on area freeways. I'll have another update for you about 15. Donovan. Okay. Tom, thank you so much.